everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you had a wonderful final lip Friday. I haven't sang that in a while, so you're welcome. I don't know if we like, I don't know if I like this dress. The color, ugh, I don't know. Anyway, so it's Saturday and I have a journal topic for you. And I've been going through a lot of my old Q and A's and everything. Um, so stay tuned for secret projects. But in doing that, I found a wonderful uh, journal topic idea. And this comes from Gemma. So thanks Gemma for sending this quite a little while ago, a couple months ago. And it says, when watching some of your videos on eating disorder recovery, you said at the end of one of them, for it to work, you have to work it. I don't know if you use your own advice for a journal topic, but this really resonated with me because some sometimes we are quick to give up and say it's not working, but have we really worked it? It's a good question. The answer, well, is probably no. Not as much as we could. It reminds me never to give up and to keep working at it until it does indeed work. Thanks for all your amazing videos. They make me smile. Oh, you're welcome. And I think that that is kind of good and I forget that I even said that. But I remember I used to take um, some of the girls at Eating Disorder a Treatment Center to the AA meetings when they were open meetings and I would go with them and then bring them back. Um, but it was like it works if you work it. Keep coming back. That's part of the thing they say at the end. I'm doing this because you hold hands when you do it sometimes at some groups maybe. Maybe not yours, but the one that I went to did. Um, and for it to work, you have to work it. Sometimes we don't want to work. I know we're tired. I know it's a lot of work. I know we're annoyed that we're even doing this. But maybe think about and write about have you really worked it? Like if you're wanting to give up, what have you done today to try to make it a better day? What are things you've worked on and used? What tools have you tried? What alternatives have you done instead of self-harming before we actually give into the urges? Because if we kind of take stock, we can A, figure out what's really working for us and what has, and we can refer back and look and see what's helped us in the past, but B, it distracts us in the moment and we're actually writing things down and surprise, we're working on a recovery. So keep at it, keep working. And thanks Gemma for sending this over. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see y'all on Monday. Bye.